Hey there viewers and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take a look at how do I put the carburetor and all those gaskets on this Honda GC series, the GCV 190s, the GXs, all that other stuff. Pretty much going to work the same. Let's take a look. So before we get started here we're going to need to scrounge up a couple parts. First we're going to need our gaskets. All your engines are going to need this uh, square gasket. Um, if you have the newer style tethered gas cap, you're going to need this one. If you have the old style, with this top, okay, you'll have this metal air deflector and it needs two of these little gaskets that go with it. So hopefully you guys can kind of see what they look like. So. All right, two of those, okay? Um, we're gonna need two, these are the same, really. You're gonna need two of these gaskets to go by the air box. You're gonna need your carburetor. You're gonna need your linkages. This engine only has two with a spring. It's that, kinda hard to see, sorry. And you're gonna need an insulator. You need your control bracket. There's a bunch of different styles of those. And you're going to need your air box. All right, let's begin, shall we? We'll go ahead and take the air box with nothing in it. This is my way of putting this together, no matter which type of engine that you got. I'm going to put two of the longer bolts in it. So, cool. Now, all of these engines need this gasket to go behind. And if you look at it, you can probably see that there's a hole in the gasket and it lines up with the hole. Probably can't see that that well in the air box. Right. Sorry, you guys can't see crap. I went and got a light. Hopefully it's not too blindingly bright. All right, anyway, you can see the little hole in that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna put on is my control bracket. And your control bracket may look a little bit different than this one, but um, mine's got the choke lever. If yours is the what I call an upgrade style, um, it's going to hook in just a little bit different. So the procedure is really going to be the same. So I'm going to put the control bracket on. Okay. So control bracket is installed. Next up, I'm going to put the carburetor on after I put another one of these gaskets on. So I'm, again, I'm lining up the hole. Oops. <laughs> I just put that one backwards on camera. Yep. You saw it. Okay. So everything's lined up good. Next comes the carburetor. So I'm gonna put the carburetor on with the choke side, obviously the black facing the control bracket. Okay, but at this point, if I have this older style engine, like what mine is, I wanna hook the choke in. So I'll just take the choke lever out of the bracket. Okay, and then I will put the choke lever in the furthest hole, if you look on the carburetor here, there's two holes in the choke, okay? I'll put the choke lever in the furthest away hole. If you have the style with the choke all on the one lever, you're actually gonna put the choke rod in the hole closest to this piece on the control bracket. So it's, it's backwards from this. You only got two holes to put it in, so. Whatever. If you tug on the choke at this point in time, if you guys can see that, that the choke actually does work. So that should be functional at this point in time. Uh, next, what I do is I take this linkage. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, it's got the spring on it. I put the bend on the back side. I'm not sure if that's actually the way that it comes from the factory. I, I think it's the other way around, but I think it fits a little better. And then I install that into the throttle on the carburetor. And you can see how that works at this point in time. So next, if you have the metal air deflector, which I'm getting rid of on this motor because it's kind of hard to get the gaskets for it, it seems. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this white gasket we made in house onto the carburetor. Okay, then I'm gonna put the metal control bracket. Okay, and then I'm gonna put another 
small in-house cut gasket on that like such. Okay. Then I'm going to put the air deflector, or excuse me, the insulator on it like such. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that without all this stuff falling apart. Okay. Um, the megaphone side, if you will, on that faces your motor and there's a little vent at the bottom. So you can hopefully kind of see how that goes. Okay. Um, lastly, there is a square gasket. This one we didn't make in house, but you get the idea. So that square gasket goes on kind of like such. So, and uh, at that point, you can bring the whole thing up to your motor. Um, if you have the one piece insulator, not insulator, the air deflector, the assembly order is a little different. So we'll back up to the point where we got the carburetor just chill in there. We'll take our one piece. This is found on the newer tethered gas cap engines. We'll put our one piece on. Okay. Then we'll take our insulator. Now you can probably see why Honda went this route because it's a little easier for them, you know, parts management wise to, uh, to deal with it. So anyway, at that point on the tethered gas cap engines, hopefully this is still in frame. This thing's kind of a little bit of a turkey to hold. I usually set them down on the table, but it makes it a little less interesting to watch, I guess. Anyway, this is now ready to bolt up to your motor. Okay, when you're bolting this up to your motor, here's how I do it. So the governor arm is still attached. You've got your stack that's sitting here. I'm going to pull the kill switch wire up to the top and click it in so it's kind of out of my way. I've also, my speed control spring is taped. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it there. So my first thing that I do is I come over to the governor arm and in the little hole, I hook the spring. I suppose you could do it later, but it's a little bit of a turd. So once the spring is hooked, I bring this control bracket out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I bring the whole bracket out and then I install the little tab into, into the governor arm. So at that point, turn this so you can see it. I get behind it and I connect my breather hose while I still got room. Okay, sorry if you can't really see that. And then I bring the whole thing up to the motor and I gently, gingerly tighten the bolts on it. Okay, so at that point it's stuck on the engine, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so my next step, this is all loose still, is I'm going to administer the classic reach around and I'm going to attach the speed control spring to the last hole. Okay. And I'm going to attach my fuel line to the carburetor. And up top, I hope you guys can kind of see that, I am going to clip on the kill switch wire to the magneto. So since this is all loose, I am then going to thread in the bolt for the control, uh, control bracket. Then we're going to put the bolt in the air box. Yours may or may not have a hole drilled there depending on the vintage, if you will, of the engine. So at this point, tighten everything, factory specs, which is exactly two ugga duggas and you're done. The last thing we're going to do on this before we put all the fancy plastic on is we're going to calibrate the governor. We want to make sure that we do that so that the engine doesn't, you know, take off at 5,000 RPM as soon as you start it. Okay, so the governor calibration can be done on or off the equipment. It's, they're all pretty much going to work the same here on these Hondas. So what you're going to do with all your springs installed is you loosen the bolt on the, on the governor arm. The next thing that you're going to do is you get a pair of pliers and you can probably see this little half moon shaped, I call it the governor paddle, but you notice it turns now independently of the governor arm. So at this point we can move the governor arm independently of the, of the paddle. So what I do is I grab it, I pull, and I push the arm back so it you know, doesn't fall off, and I twist the paddle 
all the way back. So as far as I can clockwise, then I tighten the bolt. And you'll notice you get a full sweep of the governor and that's, that's it for the calibration. Okay folks, well that's it for putting the carburetor on your GC series or GX series even, uh, these little 160s, 190s, all that other good stuff. So that's pretty much it for putting the carburetor on. That's how to calibrate the governor. Uh, if you like this video, if you learned something from it, uh, if you want me to produce more of these, be sure to go down in the comments, leave me a comment. Let me know if I can improve it. Be sure to hit the like button and give me a thumbs up. Till next time.